Hello, I am Said, and this is Bobby, an exemplary of Papilio Macaon. Caterpillars usually live open air, and millions of years of evolution gave them the instruments to survive, like uh, uh, high performance materials, uh, efficient locomotion, and a nervous system able to coordinate all the complex uh, biological apparatus. Um, all these technologies have already been considered from uh, engineers uh, to build bio-inspired materials and systems. Mm, during the metamorphosis, uh, caterpillars usually build uh, a strong film around them as a protection from external events. Uh, humans, uh, instead, uh, live in caves uh, from uh, 2.5 million years and uh, work to make them more comfortable as uh, houses. Um, while, they, while they have uh, a constant and precise awareness of the state of health of their uh, protective film during metamorphosis, uh, it's sadly well known that uh, houses and, uh, in general, civil structures may be damaged without generating any sensation in our body. Um, and uh, more importantly, um, also without uh, um, precise and uh, evident uh, damage features. But uh, we think that uh, a prompt healing and uh, effective damage sensing are uh, biological features uh, uh, urgently required in the field of engineering field, uh, in the field of engineering. And uh, mm, I study structural health monitoring, and uh, we have obtained surprisingly re surprising results about uh, uh, damage identification, uh, analyzing the microvibration of structures uh, by accelerometric sensors uh, Mm, arranged on structures. However, our sensors are deployed at sparse locations. Mm, a, a denser distribution of sensor would, be, uh, would provide a more valuable result. However, um, they, are cost, um, they are not so cost effective and uh, um, the, there is a problem from the visual uh, point of view. Uh, so we are now studying uh, uh, moving sensors inspired on uh, living beings, um, which can uh, face this problem. Thank you.